First, disconnect the oil pan from the cylinder block using an SST. Then, remove the oil strainer, the oil pump, and rear oil seal retainer. Measure the connecting rod thrust clearance with a dial gauge attached to the connecting rod cap. The standard thrust clearance is 0.15 to 0.25 millimeters, and the maximum permissible clearance is 0.30 millimeters. If the clearance exceeds the maximum value, replace the connecting rod with a new one. Before disassembling the cylinder block, stamp a match mark on each connecting rod and bearing cap. For example, stamp one mark on the number one connecting rod and bearing cap, two marks on the number two connecting rod and bearing cap, and so on. This helps ensure correct reassembly. Remove each bearing cap and place a short vinyl tube on each connecting rod bolt so that bolts do not scratch the cylinder bore surface. Carefully remove the piston and connecting rod assemblies from the cylinder block. Before removing the crankshaft, measure the crankshaft thrust clearance with a dial gauge. The standard clearance is 0.20 to 0.22 millimeters, and the maximum permissible clearance is 0.30 millimeters. If the clearance exceeds the maximum value, replace the thrust washers. Remove the crankshaft. Gradually loosen and remove the crankshaft bearing caps in this order. Then, remove the upper bearings and thrust washers. Arrange the removed bearings, bearing caps, and thrust washers in order so that they can be reinstalled in their correct positions. Here, let's look at the method of measuring the oil clearance of each crankshaft bearing. Install the upper bearing on each bearing cap, aligning the oil holes. Place the crankshaft on the cylinder block. After cleaning the journal bearing with waste cloth, set a piece of plastic gauge axially on the crank journal and install the bearing cap. Apply a thin coat of engine oil to the threads and bearing surface of each bolt. Do not turn the crankshaft during measurement. The cap tightening torque is 610 kilograms per centimeter. Remove the bearing cap and measure the width of the plastic gauge at the widest portion. The standard oil clearance is 0.015 to 0.033 millimeters, and the maximum permissible clearance is 0.10 millimeters. If the oil clearance exceeds the maximum value, replace the bearings. Also, measure the oil clearances of the connecting rod bearing and camshafts using the same method, using plastic gauge. Finally, disassemble each piston and connecting rod assembly. Remove the piston rings using a piston ring tool. Using four different SSTs and a press, remove the piston pin from each piston. To do this, set the SSTs at these positions to ensure that the load is applied vertically to the piston pin. Never pry the piston pin, or it could become unremovable. Slowly and carefully apply pressure to remove the connecting rod from the piston. This completes cylinder block removal.